Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Ruth, and here's Sarah, and we're welcoming you to St. James United Church, our Sunday school room. And uh, we've had some really nice fall weather. We've been doing some fun stuff, haven't we? Yeah. And might be you noticed that uh, Sarah's got a new outfit on. See, it's great. It's red and it's and it's uh, bright and it's cheery. And I've got my poppy on because we're heading into Remembrance Day. We're into November, so we do remember all our soldiers who have fought in the many great wars and many, many wars. And we are so thankful that we live in Canada. So we're going to be welcoming everybody. I see them starting to come in. I see Alexis first. Hi, Alexis. And there's Charlotte. I just saw Charlotte's grandma this morning. And there's Charlie and Owen and Annie and Alum. Hi, guys. It's always fun to see you. There's Gray with his big bright eyes and Jaden and Ezra, Lawson and Oliver, all cousins, Abigail and uh, Noah, Patrick, and of course, uh, Pat and Karen and Doug, we welcome you back and we're going to have some fun today. So our song today is, Are You Ready? So we want everyone to be ready and to have their good eyes to see and listening ears because today is all about listening, okay? And our song is right here, Are You Ready? to be talking about Samuel today and he had to be ready to do what was good all the time when he was in the temple and helping Eli. So we're going to let you look at the poster over here of Eli and Samuel as a boy in the temple and last week we talked about how he was helping clean everything and people made a cleaning sock puppet last day. So today we're back to Samuel here he is on our felt board and he's opening the doors and and he let all the people in and after a long day he always did close the doors again so he'd had a big day he had been you know polishing the candlesticks like this and cleaning up after the people and he was tired so he had a place in one of the back rooms where he went to sleep on his little cot and in this particular night, something very interesting happened. He heard his name being called in the night, and the, a voice said, Samuel, Samuel. So he woke up like this, he's got one eye open, and then he went over to Eli, who was sleeping in another room nearby, and he said, you know, Eli, did you just call me? I heard you call my name. And Eli said, no, Samuel, I didn't call your name, just go back to bed. Okay, 
So Samuel went back to bed. He laid down again and he went back to sleep because he was pretty tired after all the work of cleaning the, the temple all day long. And once again, a voice called him and said, Samuel, Samuel. So I thought, okay, I think Eli's after me this time. So he got up again, he had a light, he went over to Eli's room and he said, Eli, I'm here, what is it you wanted? And Eli said, I didn't call you Samuel, you need to go back to bed. So he went back to bed again. And here he is sleeping again. And a third time, the voice said, Samuel, Samuel. So once again, he got up, he put the light on again, lit the lamp, and he went over to see Eli. And this time, Eli was thinking, this is the third time he's come to me, and I have not called him. God must be talking to him. He said, Samuel, that is God talking to you. So next time you say, Lord, I am listening. Please, you know, tell me what it is you want me to hear. So he went back to bed again, and he went back to sleep again. And this time, when, uh, when God called him again and said, Samuel, Samuel, he said, here I am, Lord, I'm listening. What is it you want me to hear? So I wanted to share the same story from my little book that I had when I was a child, and it tells the story so beautifully and has nice illustrations, so I'm going to read this to you today. So one night when the services of the day were over and the evening hymn had been sung, Eli laid down to rest in a place in the temple. Samuel was fast asleep, curled up in his, on his little mattress close by. All was very quiet, very still in the temple. Um, yet somebody woke up Samuel. He sat up and he looked around. What had roused him? It was not yet morning, for the lamp that burned um, before the ark of God from evening until sunrise had not gone out. Its flame still threw a dim golden light across the shadows of the dark temple. Then a voice came clearly through the stillness. Samuel, it must be Eli, the boy thought. I'm coming, he called, and he jumped up and he ran to where the old priest was sleeping. Here I am, he said. You called me. Eli was surprised. I didn't call you, my child, he said. Go and lie down again. So Samuel went back and he laid down. But before he dropped off to sleep, once more a voice came. Samuel. Again, the boy jumped up and he ran to Eli saying, Here I am. For you did call me. No, my son, the old priest answered, I didn't call you. Perhaps you were dreaming. Go and lie down again. So the boy went slowly back to his mattress and he laid down. He was puzzled because he felt certain that he had heard someone call his name. Hardly had he settled down to try to sleep when again the voice came. Clearly and distinctly ringing through the silent temple, he heard his name. Samuel, Samuel. Once again, the boy ran as quickly as he could to Eli. Here I am, he said. I know you called me this time. I heard you and I wasn't dreaming. Then the old priest knew that the Lord had called the child. Samuel had never heard God's voice before and had not known it. Quietly, Eli put out his frail old hands and he drew this dear child close to him. Listen, my son, he said gently. Go and lie down, and if you hear the call again, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and he laid down in his place, and he listened and he listened, wondering if that voice would call again. Then the Lord came and he called, as he had done before, Samuel, Samuel, and the little Samuel whispered, Speak, for your servant hears. Then God spoke to Samuel, and in the stillness of the, of the night, the boy heard every word. So the Lord spoke to Samuel and told him what he meant him to do in Israel. And by the time the voice was hushed, the boy knew that he was the one chosen to take Eli's place and that one day he would be the priest of God. So we'll learn more about Samuel and his adventures before he ends up being an adult next, next week. So here's our verse to remember today. Come and listen to the words of the Lord from Joshua 3, verse 9. So today is all about listening. 
So we hear God speaking to us just by um, the birds singing in the trees, by the, the songs that we, that we hear, um, you know, Sophia and Rick um, play for our church service each Sunday that is televised. So uh, I wanted us to have some kind of a listening activity. So this is one where you take some glasses, different sizes, and you put water in them. You can put water up to different um, heights in each of the glasses. I've got different kinds of glasses. They're all going to make a little different sound. And if you are really good at this, you can even make it into particular notes and end up having music. We're just going to have some random sounds here. And we are just going to make the, the musical sounds by tapping with a spoon. So I've just got a small spoon. And even a different type of spoon, this is a thinner one and a thicker one, will give a different sound entirely. A much heavier sound, much I think you can have a lot of fun just making a tune with um, the glasses of water like that. Now this one is also using a glass, but it's got to be a really special glass with nice thin sides on it in a bold shape like this one. And this one is where you actually wet your fingers with the water and you run it along the edge of the rim of the glass and the glass will eventually make a tune. Let's see if we can hear it. Whoops, Let's see if we can hear it. And the glass will make a different tune according to how much water is in it. So if there's less water, I think it'll make a higher tune. Let's just see. Take a little bit more out. Let's see what we get. Isn't that beautiful? So if you had more than one glass, you could have people in the family playing different tunes and you could also have other rhythmic percussion instruments go with this and you could really end up making some beautiful music just by something as simple as water in glasses. So I'm going to end today with a prayer that, a very short prayer that is in today's lesson and I, I liked it, I'll share this with you. Thank you God for your words that we can read in our Bibles. Help us listen to your words and obey them. In Jesus name, amen. So help us to listen to the words of people in our family, to listen to um, them when they're maybe reaching out to us, um, use your words always in good ways and remember to listen in your hearts when uh, you know that God is listening to you when you're praying at night or when you're just thinking thoughts during the daytime. That is a prayer too. So have a great week. It's Miss Ruth again from St. James United Church in Waterdown saying peace be with you and have a wonderful time with your family and your friends and your schoolwork and wherever you are. God is with you. Bye for now.